Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Jeff. I'm Alex. And welcome to As Good As It Gets, greeting from aboard Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. What room are we going to tour today? 6371. That's right. This is a standard interior room with occupancy for up to... Two, two, two. 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 <laughs> two Alex is two robots. All right, we're going to go into the room and show you around. Let's go, Alex. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna just enter the room and we're gonna work clockwise. It does have your closet with six shelves, plenty of hanging space, and you do have space on top for life jackets and for any small bags. And next to the closet, you have a mirror. Here I am with the camera. How you doing? There's an Alex behind me on the couch, which we will see in just one moment. You do have storage on both sides of the vanity with four shelves. Oh, you can't see it with the, the uh, lights on, so I'll show you on the other side once the lights are out. Uh, so let's do that for you. Boy, that was really horrible. <laughs> so there is one, two, three, four shelves right there. And now let's talk power. You do have a standard European 220 volt outlet. That's an EF uh, grounded outlet. And then you do have two 110 volt North American Edison outlets next to the light switch for the vanity. Okay, hey, Alex is going to show you the six large drawers and you have two smaller drawers and the room does include a hair dryer. Uh, so you do not need to worry about bringing your hair dryer. And just like all the uh, rooms, you do have a couple shelves right there for your miscellaneous storage and you do have your safe to place your valuables in. Definitely put your passport, your wallet, all your money in the safe. Here's the articulating TV and it articulates so you guys in your uh, bed can enjoy the TV and also the couch, which we will see in just one moment. Okay, this room has the bed separated. They can be placed together to create a king size bed. The nightstands will be placed on the outer sides of the bed underneath the uh, lights. You do have a reading light and an area light and also a mirror, which you can see me and there's an Alex on the couch. Continuing clockwise, there's an Alex sitting on the couch. That is not a sofa sleeper. That is just a love seat. Again, occupancy for up to two. And your full length mirror right there. You can see plenty of mirrors around on three sides of the room. And inside the washroom, you have four hooks. That is a blue pool towel. Make sure you turn those in prior to uh, debarking the cruise ship uh, the night before. Otherwise, you will be charged $25 a towel. Here is your washroom with the standard Royal Caribbean all-in-one body wash, shampoo and conditioner, removable head, shower head, and a couple shelves. There is your vacuum toilet that everybody loves. Make sure you do not flush that toilet while you're sitting on it. It will suck you down. No, just kidding. It just <laughs> creates a lot of vacuum. Your towels, and you do have your sink, shelf, and you do have storage back in here for your toiletries and there is a power outlet right above here it is a uh, dual european and north american outlet all right let's talk about placement of this room 6371 located on deck six aft and on the uh, starboard side of the ship as you can see on the uh, diagram it is an interior room and you do have rooms on each side both uh, le uh, fore and aft of the room uh, it's not too bad uh, we've only heard some people uh, walking down the hall some kids running but that's a uh, normal on any cruise ship and this is a great location because the royal promenade is on deck five the main dining room is on deck five, four, and three, right below where we're at. So we haven't heard any noises from uh, below. Well, I doubt anybody's dancing on the ceiling, but straight up the uh, elevators, uh, the aft elevators, just uh, not too far of a walk from here. You have easy access to deck 11, which is the Lido deck, and deck 12 has the uh, fitness center and the uh, adventure ocean. Just remember, it's a stateroom for occupancy for up to two, as you saw just two beds in there, nothing from the ceiling, and the couch does not uh, fold out. Hey, if you've been in 6371, leave your comments down below with your experiences, or if you have any questions about any standard interior rooms with occupancy for up to two, three, or four, we can answer those because we've had all of those on this ship. If you haven't already, we invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hey guys, thank you for watching this video about 6371. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>